Thank you so much. I'm glad you enjoyed the opening of the show. But I have to say, we've been hammering the Mariner bullpen, I think, a little too hard. I mean, I, let's, let's, let's give him some relief here. In fact, there was a headline in the PI this week that said, look at this, Ayala is a new M's savior, which I believe that headline is mentioned in the book of Revelation as one of the signs <laughs> of the apocalypse, you know. We've had a lot of signs that the end is near recently. The Cougars were in the Rose Bowl. You remember that? <laughs> <laughs> no, Ryan Leaf, the Cougar quarterback, was the second pick in the NFL draft today. He's going to San Diego. Great player, not a real good negotiator. He signed his contract for a case of Schmidt, a Camaro, and tickets. <laughs> and tickets to a White Snake concert. You know, it's just. <laughs> You can take the boy out of Wazoo, but... <laughs> anyway, it was uh, tax time this week, always an interesting phenomenon. Everyone gathers up all that money. Oh, didn't, re didn't expect that response. Jeez, you know, <laughs> always surprising. Anyway, it's, everybody gathers up all that money and we all send it to Utah, which, yeah. Let me try to get... Can you imagine the reasoning that went into that decision? You know, sitting back there and watching. Well, let's send it to the Northwest. No, it'll get all damp and those stupid hippies up there will try to mold it into flutes or something. We're not sending it there. <laughs> all right, what about Florida? No, there's too many old people. They'd give the money away to some nice young man for mowing the lawn, you know. And any place else down south, they'd put the money in the trunk of their stock cars, get liquored up and drive around the street firing out their guns. All right, look, let's be honest. It's either going to be the Amish or the Mormons. Let's flip a coin, you know. All right. The Mormons, fine. All right. There's a lot of things on the tax forms that I frankly do not understand, like the choices of how you can file single, married, married filing separately. What the hell is that category? I'd really like to be around when that discussion takes place. Um, honey? <laughs> I was thinking that this year, it might be a good idea if we filed separately. No, 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 no. I, I, I think it'd be good for our relationship. You know, give us some space, let me figure a few things out. Next year, we'll be filing together again. I guarantee you, I guarantee you. I mean, well, what's next? Married, but filing with someone I met down at the gym. I don't know, married, but filing with the drummer from Pearl Jam. And, it and then there's that box that you're supposed to check if you want to donate money to the presidential election fund. Okay, all right, so there's that box there. And I, I mean, I understand that donating, but it says that it won't raise or lower your taxes. So where's that money coming from? Where, where does that come from? I mean, they go over to some other country and shake people down over there. And they're diverting that money Sally Struthers is supposedly sending to kids. And then... Oh, see. No. Oh, they didn't boo that one. It's like taxes. Boo. <laughs> the poor kids' money. Oh, I, 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 There's the, the box that says blind. We've all seen that one. It's a tiny little box. <laughs> supposed to <laughs> put a check there if you're blind. Then you have the choice of forms. There's the short form, the long form. The short form, very easy. That's the one you use when you're a teenager, you're still in college, and for a few years after college. But as you get a few years away from college, the short form starts to get pretty embarrassing, doesn't it? I mean, I gotta mail my taxes. What is that, the short form? Ah, uh, no, no, I don't know. No. I, I just folded it up really tiny. I don't know. I don't, I don't use the short form. You know, I got a lot of deductions, but you know, I write really small. It's, uh, People claim a lot, of, you know, a lot of things for deductions. We took an informal poll around Seattle just to get a general feel for it. We thought you might be interested. For example, Nordstrom deducted the cost of cleaning all the dresses that get returned right after the prom. That was them. Very interesting. Les Schwab deducted his expired free beef. That's a good idea. Mary Kay Letourneau deducted some strawberry kiwi lip gloss and a subscription to Tiger Beat magazine. The fish flingers at the market deducted $500 for Avon Skin So Soft. Big expense there. Bob Packwood deducted his tongue piercing. 
Interesting, Andy Wappler paid an inheritance tax on his father's Doppler. <laughs> and finally, sex columnist Dan Savage deducted $5,000 for lubricant. Yeah. Interesting. Well, we have got a great show tonight, but before we go on, I'd like to say that we at King feel a great responsibility to bring you current issues and events and all points of view. And with that in mind, I'd like to welcome a new newscast to the Big Five. <laughs>